Hello, it's all. My name is Gimio. Welcome back to some more Mafia 3. This is the 11th episode. Let's continue after all. The last time we completed this construction, we got this Kawar dude, and he's dead. He said uh, this Tony guy gonna bury him. Well, she's gonna do the blackmail one. This may be a different one because it's purple, but we're gonna talk to Harold Kale or Kali Kalilo. I don't know what I'm saying wrong. So we now we have a choice to which underboss will ascend. He'll be more loyal to us. We get Vito so he can give us a mob boss. And mob bus 2, I don't know how I'm gonna use it though, because I'm not seeing mob bus 2 here. No, it said extra drilling shot, that means I might have like 4 now. Okay, so he is downstairs. I mean, it's a guy, his name is Harold. You open the door, Harold. Now, as you know, you know what I have to do, like destroy things and do all that. This guy is smoking a pack of cigarettes. I think you you are Harold Colley, it's Hadler. I'm covering Dorazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes, blackmail, juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses dead traps, spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man and his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. Yep. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. Okay, Frankie's plus politician and straight where if you see a cash. Okay, so let's do this. Blackmail target blackmail couriers. Alright, let's go up. Alright, let's do this. Here we are, let's go. We have to interrogate these blackmail couriers. Another one is over there. Oh, this dude. Run, run, run. Fuck. Well, who's escaping? Put him down, and I'm dead. I'm dead. Interrogate. You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bath Health Spa. He's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he's got stashed there. Well, recruit. Boom. Steal Frankie's fucking cash. Here we are to steal his blackmail cash. Okay, you guys, bait.
all the cash. Now we need only 15k more. So now we need to kill Frankie's officer JC McCall. So let's go now. Oh shit! What? This dude! Boom, shut up your ha ha and die. So let's go in. You know you're done fucked up, don't you? I'm sorry! Huh? I'll do anything to make it right, anything! Now why do you want to go and rip off Mr. Dorazio? I'm sorry! Uh -oh, Tell Mr. Dorazio I'll do anything to make it right! Repeat, abandon search, anything. return to patrol. Oh, huh? Try flying, you sticky-fingered piece of shit! Okay, more. Um, I'm out of here. Okay, so what else can we do? I'm not seeing anything on the map. What the fuck? Get down! Get down! He's got a gun. Let's get out of here. Quick. Uh, okay, I'm gonna see you and I'm gonna be like completing this money. So we gotta follow this thing. You gotta follow on you. So let's follow this. You can follow some enemies back to the target before turning the game on meter. Right, let's kill the target. How far is this man's gonna go? Oh wait, 400 meters? No, that's mine. Oh wait, oh. The fuck, I didn't do any honking. What is it? Oh, we reached the area. I think we reached the area. Yeah, we reached the area.
I can see this thing here, blackmail. Get over here, my man. You see a welcome sign anywhere? Oh, oh I, I killed him for some. Oh, Harold Coley. Coley. Whatever this guy was, Harold. Now let's kill whoever we are killing, like Frank Bernard. Okay. You've uh, really got poor Frank in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you. Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos, so he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. <coughs> I can tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, all right. be sure to let me know what happened, okay? Confront Frankie Bernard. Frankie Bernard. Ah, uh, they're in the same bathhouse. I don't even bother going there for my meeting. Gone way we can try to look past our differences. This is a little like that dude, or George, what his name is, the son of Marcano. Neck gone. Bro, I don't know who's seeing all this guy. Kind of Die. Please don't let him see me. See him things. Please excuse me. I ain't giving up, daddies. Confront. I'm gonna kill this guy. So what? You gonna kill me now? Good idea. You're damn right. Boom, Frankie Bernard. You're no longer Mr. Bernard. Okay, so someone's gonna switch with our predators. Two minutes. Constant time. But you can get your enemy location to pick your kickback. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Cassandra, this is your place. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure it while we can. 
The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Donovan did that? Talk to Donovan about Tony D'Arazio. Oh, now we can kill Tony D'Arazio. Let's go. Kill phones. There it is. Kill. Felix Moran has the pull to cut a phone. I mean, it's gonna be useful. I hope. What is Don doing here? Oh, I remember this truck. We're ready to kill Tony D'Arazio. How did you manage to get to Tony D'Arazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turn. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. I have a choice. Everyone will notice. Kill Tony. Infiltrate the Royal Hotel. Wait, do we have? To? Oh, we have multiple options. What's this? Enter the lobby. Steal Dominic's car. All right, let's fuck. It. Let's steal this man's car. I'm not going in like busting. Cause you know I'm not good at busting that much. But let's go. Let's kill this Tony guy. So that means he's gonna be in our kill list, right? Yep, there he is. No. Tony D'Arazio. Oh, we already killed oh, Greco. Yep, we killed this man. That image was pretty weird, but. Taken so 
Boom. Fuck, that's Dominic. Dominic, you're dead. Oh, that's a fucking C4. Take him that made a sound. Dominic is dead, my man. You're chasing me? Nah, nah, okay. Now they can go in from the Royals and Garage. I don't want to bust in the place I told you. And if I told you. Boom. Do your job, and you might just live to see Mark too. He's over here. I made a sound. This game's mechanic. Hello. I'm safe. Taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll down here real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men, and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Son doesn't give two shits about any of those two All he cares about is the people that win. I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Goodbye. Okay, fine, Tony. made his very generous contribution to your campaign it was based on it was based on your death shit right now okay huh? run for cover cover how oh, this this game is so broken Fuck. 
shield. Oh wait, I can have four now, I forgot. If I can get some damage, I can increase this time too. Shut up, down ya! Yeah. Stupid! What's gonna happen if this sucker's gonna find me? I'm going up. Fuckers, they all died. Bazooka Yup Time to kill this man You really think you This dude just popped a bazooka on us of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Escape. Oh, now we're gonna have some shooting. Whoever you are, you did real good getting up here. But leave us gonna be a different story. Huh? 
damaged. Oh. Let's get the cash and let's also get a rest. It's a shoddy, nah. It's your end! Oh, holy shit! Right in his mouth! Take a granada then. Super shit. Actually, I need to hit squad. I'm looking for some backup. My pal Vito says y'all are some bad motherfuckers. Well, Vito ain't wrong. He's very, very right. Yup, we got a hit squad now. I need help. On drive, man. This guy's just.
look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Well, here this, Lankin. You can make any final decisions you want to make. But splitting the action in one of these districts between my men and theirs ain't happening. This turf comes to me. White boys are your problem. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit and let's get to work. Ain't too late to change your mind, lad. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitching these two got going on right now. Racking this to now you must in district on the boss. Uh You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. Hmm, Marker, next one video should be on the house. Considering but you can get your enemy location should pick up the kickback. You start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. Disagree with me, it ain't gonna last. What's the word, Lincoln? We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. Anytime Vito. You want to make a Vito is the winner. This is the kind of shit that breaks the spirit of folk. You do well to keep that in mind. A fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. If I stay here any longer, my head's gonna fucking explode. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. So dude, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, it's over, right? Then you will like to subscribe for more. See you next video. Have a good day. Bye bye. Then when it's gonna be over. Saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me and Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, they panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.